If you're watching this video, then you have Windows Vista or Windows 7 Home Edition. If you do not have Home Edition, we ask that you refer to the video labeled Windows Vista or Windows 7 Pro. So we need to create a username of VizHub and give VizHub a password. So we're going to go down to the Start button. We're going to go to Control Panel. and scroll through until you find user accounts double click and if it comes up to a specific account like this we want to find the link that says manage another account now we're going to create a new account we're going to name this account bizhub b-i-z-h-u-b click create account Now select the BizHub user, click create a password. The password we're going to use is going to be exclamation point, uppercase P, A S S W O R D, exclamation point. Put it in the second box also to confirm. And we're just going to put the password hint as copier. Um, that password is a particular one that we use a lot um, for a default password just for scanning. Now click create password and now we've created a username named bizhub with a password of exclamation point uppercase p a s s w o r d exclamation point. That's the end of step one. For step two, we want to create a folder to scan to with the name of my scans and create a desktop shortcut to this folder. Click on the start button in the lower left hand corner of your screen. Now click on computer, double click local disk C, and you can either right click in any space, uh, any white space, and highlight new and select folder. This can also be done with this button up here labeled new folder. And we just want to give that folder a name of my scans. Hit enter. Now right click on the folder. Go to Properties, left click on the Sharing tab, now we want to click Share. Now we created a user named BizHub in Step 1 and we want to allow this user to access to this folder. So type B-I-Z-H-U-B and click Add. Now BizHub only has the rights to read this folder we want to change this so left click on the arrow and select read and write now left click on the share button at the bottom of the screen just be patient it takes just a moment click on done. So now our folder is shared out and BizHub has access to it. Just to make sure he has full access we're going to left click on advanced sharing, click on permissions, now we're going to click the add button. We're going to add BizHub in here as well so type B-I-Z-H-U-B, left click OK, Basically, if that pops up, that's asking you if you're trying to find that user on the domain. That's good.
good example that that did pop up. Um, I forgot this time. But basically, from this location, we can left click on locations. And we want to change that to the computer. So just select the computer from the top of the list. Click OK. Now, if we click OK, it'll find BizHub on that local computer. And we want to click full control. Now BizHub has full control of this folder. Now just for left click OK. Click OK again. And we can left click on the security tab at the top just to make sure BizHub is in here and he has full control. So now just close that out. Last thing you're going to do is right click on the MyScans folder. Highlight Send To from the pop-up menu and left click on Desktop Create Shortcut. Now we can close this window and that completes step two. Now we need to create a one touch on the copier to be able to scan to the computer and we're going to need the IP address of the copier and the easiest way to get that if you don't already have that is go to start go to devices and printers or you can go to control panel and then find printers in there as well and find the printer that you're wanting to find the IP address of which we're working with the 362, the 282, and the 222 which will be the same as the BizHub 350, 250, 200 we'll right click on that printer go to printer properties click on the ports tab at the top and then in between port and description we're going to drag that to the right and then we'll scroll down to see what's selected and it looks like this is our IP address 192.168.1.66 go ahead and write that down and then we can close this out by hitting cancel close that window now we're going to go to the browser. It doesn't matter if you use Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox. Sometimes Firefox works um, a little bit better. So we're going to double click to open the browser. Now we're going to type in the very top address bar, we're going to type in the IP address 192.168.1.66. Your IP address should be different. Um, this is just what mine is. Now left click on the scan tab. And all these different boxes are basically pages of um, one touch buttons. The first one's blank, so we can go ahead and use that. We're going to give it a name of scans. And then hit apply and all these are buttons that can be programmed all these are empty currently um, go ahead and left click on one of those and we want to select TXPC SMB we're doing SMB scanning and then click next the one touch name um, you can use your name um, I'm just going to use my first name which is Jared and then you want to use the host name of your computer and the way we get the host name of the computer is we go down to start right click on computer click on properties from the pop-up menu and my computer name is Acer um, you don't want to use acer.hitechoffsystems.local you just want to use the first part which is acer 
and regardless of whether that's in caps or not we always want to have that in all caps and then our file path is the folder we created earlier it was in all lowercase my scans the username we created in step one was bizhub B -I -Z -H -U -B. the password was exclamation point uppercase p a s s w o r d exclamation point put it in the second box to confirm and most people are going to want to change this next box to PDF that's what most customers use it's totally up to you don't have to mess with the coding method and then just click apply and we've successfully created a shortcut and as long as we did everything correct um, when we go try to scan everything should work and you can close that window now and that's the end of step three